Okay, in this second part of the video series, I'm going to show you how to take the form that we created in video number one and further edit and customize it. Now, before I go any further, the one thing that I want to uh, talk about is you'll notice that there, nowhere in the Google form is there a save button. And that's because you can look right up here. It says all changes saved in Drive. Anytime you make a change to your form, Google automatically saves your your file. So you never have to worry about forgetting to save or anything like that. All of, all of your changes are automatically saved in Google Drive. So let's take a look back down at our form. If I scroll down, one thing I want to show you is it's incredibly easy to rearrange questions. You can see when I hover my mouse over the questions, it highlights the different questions, but you'll also notice that the cursor becomes a four-pronged arrow. If I wanted to rearrange the questions, I can literally just click and drag and it will rearrange the questions. Just like that, click, drag, and let go. I'm going to go ahead and move this back because I want the main question to be first. But just like that, it's that easy to rearrange questions. If you needed to edit one of the questions, let's say you found that you made a spelling mistake in one of these, you can go over to the pencil and click the edit button there and then you can see you can make any changes that are necessary to your question and click done. So that's how to rearrange and edit questions. If you needed to add another question, you could click Add Item right here, and it'll give you the choices to add another question. Or you can go up to the Insert menu, click that, and then select the kind of question that you'd like to choose. So that's how to do new questions. And if you scroll down, I want to talk briefly about the Confirmation page. Confirmation page is what users see once they have submitted their form. Uh, once they click the submit button, you can see that the, the default response here is your response has been recorded. You can change this to make it say whatever you want. For this example, I'm just going to be a little polite and I'm going to say thank you. Your response has been recorded. And then you've got some choices here, show link to submit another response and these other choices. Uh, more often than not, you'll probably just want to keep this one checked and the other ones, but the other one's blank, but again, that is completely up to you. It depends on what kind of form you're going to do. Um, now, going back up to the top here, I want to talk about the menus up here. You can see that I've got three things. The theme, choose response destination, and view live form. Now, I want to start here on view live form. If you want to see, well, what is it, what is it going to look like live? If I click this, you can see that it opens up another tab, and this is exactly what the form will look like to your users. You can see my title, the help text, and my two questions. So if I like the look of this, I'm ready to go. Now I can either click edit this form to go back to edit mode, or because I opened this in a new tab, I'm just going to close that out because I already had my tab in my edit mode. And let's say I wanted to change the theme, I could go ahead and click there and I could choose any one of these other themes if I didn't like the look uh, of the theme that I had chosen at the beginning. One of the great things is when you change the theme of your form, it does not alter any of the data that has already been received. So if you have 10 people who have already submitted information on your form and then you change the, the theme, it's not going to affect any of the data that you've already received. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the theme that I've got by clicking cancel. And now you have the choice when it says choose response destination. So if I click this, it brings me a, a window that looks like this. Basically, what do I want to do with the information that I'm going to get from my form? Now, probably the most common thing that you're going to want to choose is a new spreadsheet. One of the great things about a spreadsheet is if you do a spreadsheet, anytime the user submits a form, all of the data from the form will be dumped into a spreadsheet which you can then manipulate and analyze uh, however you need to do that. Um, one of the other choices down here is 
uh, keep responses only in forms. Now, this would be something if you're going to do a, a form that you're going to expect uh, massive amounts of returns. You're going to have a thousand people, for example, submit responses, and you maybe don't want all that information into a spreadsheet. You just kind of want to see a summary of that. You could go ahead and click keep responses only in forms. Um, but for this example, we're going to go ahead and do new spreadsheet, which we'll call test form responses. So I'm going to go ahead and click create. So it is setting up the spreadsheet here. And in just a second, we'll move there. So now you can see view responses. And in the next video, I'm going to show you what happens when somebody submits information and how the information goes into the spreadsheet.